I'm Connie Book, president of Elon University, and I'm joined by Lee Rainey, who has launched Elon's new Imagining the Digital Future Center with the release of a major study on artificial intelligence. Lee, welcome. I uh, am excited to have you here at Elon. Now, you've been associated with Elon for more than two decades. Uh, first as a parent, then as an advisory board member for our School of Communications, and that's when we first met. So tell me about the partnership you built between Pew Research and Elon over the years. My daughter had the very typical experience of walking on this beautiful campus and saying, this is for me. So anything that pleased her pleased me, and I was lucky to be starting a brand new job running uh, internet and technology research at the Pew Research Center. And I got to meet with faculty just when I was down visiting on campus, and as a throwaway line in one of our meetings said, what do you imagine we could do studying the future of the internet? Every time I went out and gave public speeches about the research I was doing, the first question in the audience was, what's the next big thing? So I didn't want to just riff on that. I didn't want to have my own opinion. And I thought talking to experts would give me some clues about it. And sure enough, you were one of the professors who immediately took up my offer and began to study what had been predicted about the internet. And we learned from that, experts do know. And we began a series of canvassings of experts about the, the coming decade and all the kinds of issues that we're going to play through the culture. There is something exciting about futures and being able to predict and forecast the future. Uh, it's almost a magical power, right? Who can, who can call what's about to happen? And so I know over the years, I've always been excited to, uh, especially as new technologies roll out, to hear from the experts, like, what do you, how is this gonna change our world? How's this going to change our political system? And, and certainly the internet, and has brought around about profound change. Um, and so I've always been grateful for the work that you did at Pew and then our partnership at Elon that was you know, cataloging so many of these predictions. So now we're entering the dawn of a new age and have launched a new center at Elon. And, uh, and Lee, as the inaugural director, is tasked with um, helping to build the future of that new center, which we've, we're calling Imagining the Digital Future. So tell me what your vision is. What are you thinking for this new center? My vision starts with doing more of the same. We've been doing this work for 24 years together, Pew and Elon, and now me at the new Imagining the Digital Future Center. And what we've learned, of course, is that experts are pretty darn good at predicting the future, in part because for them it's not the future. They're knowing what's being worked on in the cutting edge labs. They see the products that are being pitched to big organizations and things. So we're in the beginning of an enormous revolution now with the rise of artificial intelligence. It's been around for a while, but certainly the rise of these language models, chat GPT, has caught the public imagination, sometimes in a scary way and sometimes in a, in a hopeful way. So part of our mission is to just study this new revolution. But the thing that's clearly going to come is this revolution is going to be combined with other big things that are happening in technology, like the rise of artificial and augmented intelligence. So you, you'll walk around the world with these goggles and these glasses that'll tell you what's going on in the world around you, including maybe the people you're meeting and who they are and what the buildings are around you. But there will also be ways in which it will be combined with incredible breakthrough medical technologies, um, forecasting in all kinds of ways in the marketing world and things like this. So so the ubiquity of it is part of the story we'll be tracking. It really is amazing what is in our hands and in our pockets now on our wristbands and, uh, and the way it's changing the world we live in and our personal lives as well. So tell me, as you think about the, the body of research that we have, the forecasting that we've done over the last few years in partnership with uh, Elon and Pew, um, what other, besides artificial intelligence, what other new areas do we think the center will take on? Well, there is biotechnology that's very much intertwined with informatics and in information technologies. And so the way that these tools are going to be used for human enhancement, for repairing damaged parts of human beings, is the way that it's going to be used for uh, prosthetics and things like that, big part of the story. Another way is it's, we're, it's going to be in our brain. 
you know, as we wear specialized goggles, specialized glasses, sometimes even specialized uh, contact lenses, this stuff is going to be literally in our bodies as we go through it. And we've also come to this week where the first brain implant was put in somebody. And so an interface between literally your thoughts and the technology without you speaking to it, without you typing your queries into it, is a thing that's going to be part of our future too. If you think of the way the smartphone has changed life in ways that were unpredictable in 2007 when Steve Jobs introduced the iPhone. We're heading into a similarly revolutionary period where these technologies will be doing stuff for us in the coming decades that are almost hard to imagine now. I feel that way every time I pass a Tesla and the driver is eating a sandwich <laughs> with both hands <laughs> while the car is going down the road. And uh, it's, it really is uh, a remarkable time in human history, right, as we um, build uh, this uh, new world. Um, and as a university president, I think about the responsibility of universities to prepare um, this next generation for work as well as the discernment of um, what this new technology means um, to our values, to the ethics we bring into the workplace. Um, you know, so our mission uh, is definitely uh, being challenged to consider the, the new technology, the new world, the power of it, and the responsibility of it. So it's all exciting. So tell me, how are, can people get involved with the work that's going to be ahead at the center? At the first level, the most exciting thing that this new center is going to bring is campus-wide focus. So we will have um, interactions, we hope, with all kinds of academic disciplines. We'll be talking to political scientists and computer scientists and philosophers and religion and spiritual leaders on campus, as well as the arts and humanities community. So I feel like I'm a kid in a candy store um, with calling rights to everybody on campus saying, come talk to me about what you think these technologies are going to do for you. Beyond that, it's, there's clearly a way to network with the rising number of other institutions that are studying these things. There are all sorts of groups now that are trying to understand what's going on and try to actually you know, turn them to better purposes, more ethical purposes and things like that. I think there's a, a, a network around the world really, but certainly in the United States, to make common cause with. And we hope we can find funding that uh, with government agencies, uh, philanthropies and things like that. So there's, there's lots to be wor of work to be done. And the only limit on what we can do is you know, how many bodies we have doing it and how much money we are able to raise to do it. It's exciting. I know a lot of people are going uh, to want to be involved. Uh, here in, uh, at Elon, around the United States and around the world as uh, this new world of technology makes us even more connected and closer than ever before. So we're thrilled that you have accepted to take on this inaugural work, uh, especially after such a distinguished career at Pew. Uh, we're excited to, to bring all of that intellectual power and history to Elon and as you bring your talents to the center. So thank you for being with us and, and taking this on. And thank you for joining us today for a conversation about the digital future.